Good morning guys, here with Southern Urbex. So we are here at an old golf course. This has been closed down. Have a bit of a mooch around up. This has obviously been boarded off. It's a bit derelict. So it's a bit of a stroke between barns and a golf course. Obviously this has all been cut back as well, so it looks like they're ready to do stuff. My days guys, oh, look at this. Oh my word, let's go and have a look in. Tell me this, this isn't got age in it, it's like an old workshop. Look at all the old equipment in this. Is that like an old milk tray thing? Oh, in fact, there is golf balls in it. Some of the old golf balls, guys, look at this. All the old work equipment here. Give you a bit of a view round. This is obviously an old one, isn't it? This is a really, really old one. I'm trying to be careful of the ceiling, as you can see it's got some stuff going on with that. My days guys, got the old tub. Oh, how's it look at that? Like a, a branding thing, I'm not sure what that is. Like I say, it's just an old workshop with some really, really, really old tubs. Looks like it might have been a car one. Here. Right guys, I'm just going to pause this a second, I'll come back on in two minutes. Guys, you're back with Southern Urbex, so still in the old garage, look at this thing! Houses. Do you not know what that is? I'm guessing that was for spraying something on, maybe, I'd like a template, I'm not sure. Look at the old uh, box there, 6D. Give you a bit of a zoom on the shelves, guys, just so you can see what's going on. It's underneath. So you're going to walk over in a minute to... Oh, it's just a so gun. That's got me attention. Look at the old slate there. Bits and bobs of old stuff. Let's have a walk through here. Let's just see what's in. Just being careful because there's these two green old bottles. That's just a bit of storage. Look at the old. Let's go and see what else is in here. So I'm being careful because you can obviously hear pigeons. They're everywhere, aren't they? Wherever you go, there's a pigeon. That obviously used to go upstairs. We'll go and see if we can still get up. Let's try it. I'm guessing that's an old horse thing. Guys, look at that. The old wheel in the wall. Oh. Again, there's not much up here, it's just all pigeons, bits and bobs. Looks like an old gun. I'm obviously not stepping into any of that, guys, because those floors are just not safe. But yeah, like I say, this here. Well, oh, let's just see if there's any. I'll go back to that bit in a minute. So this here is obviously an old barn. It's got cameras on it because I believe this used to be a golf course. And I'll show you the golf course itself in just a couple of minutes. There's not much to see in that. That's all just caved in. But this building, is, I think, is where the golf course was. you guys so yeah this is the actual old golfing building look at this I'm going to have a bit of a moot round in a couple of minutes it's all just been left say the golf course has been left let's go to Rack and Ruin Sure, what those yellow things are. It's an old stereo system there. Let me turn the torch on, guys, just to show you a bit more. The old stereo system there. Oh, it is. The old speakers. Oh, it's a Sony one. 
like this. Golf is a science study of a lifetime here. Can't really get that. Look at all these then. The old golf mags. Bits and bobs for golf left on the floor. Another speaker. Oh, look at the curtains. Where's this you guys? Cool old place though. I'll just keep it filming just so you can see everything. Come on, I'll just grab another torch. Right? There we go. That might make it a bit easier, guys, for you to see bits and bobs. A much brighter torch. Okay, this old microwave. Some other staff that used to work here. Obviously, got toilets. Let's go and have a look. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, wow, just small, but an old load. I just found a, a record player. Let's take this off. Look at this. Oh, it's off that stereo, isn't it? An old Sony record player. That's quite cool. This is the women's. Oh, this has been bashed up a bit. Glasses. The old chairs, no, they just left there. It's crazy, isn't it? Glasses have been smashed. So I'm guessing kids have been in and completely destroyed it as they usually do, don't they? I don't know why they do it. All the old cartridges. Hey guys, maybe this is a place that you've been to. Waterhole hazard number seven. Oh, it's the old pitch. So it used to have water in it, like an old heater. Bridge. That's the name of the park. Look at all of this lot going on here. Where is this? This is all what's just been left behind. That got golf balls in it. No. Oh, isn't it funny, you know? You find all this stuff, but there's. Apart from a half a golf ball, I've not actually seen any golf balls yet. I think it's a golf ball tea for number five. Look at all the old leaflets and all the red. So what have we got? Where is this you guys? Look at all of this. All the receipts, paperwork, some golfing gloves there. Someone's old golfing glove. Got a couple of golfing caps there as well. Look at that. Oh no, Adidas. Oh, look at this. It's like a red of one. A bit of plaques. There's a bit of a golf club. A golfing shoe. Here, yeah, guys, we've actually found our first golf ball. I don't know if you can see that. Just left here, guys. A couple of old floppy disks there. And we used to use them back in the day. Look at this old printer. My days. That's some age. Yeah, it's all just been left, guys, to go to Rack and Ruin. Well, there's the other golfing shoe in there. I don't know if you can see that. Got an old golf cart here as well. And there's this. There must have been some sort of a video recorder there. 
Yeah, no, because I got this is uh, an old golfing place. It's another part of a, what do you call it? Is it a golf club cover? Just there on the floor. Uh, it's an old golfing place that's obviously closed down quite a long time ago. Let's go back out and have another look over here. So this is the one part of the building, obviously that's got the toilets and everything on it. it looks like someone's doing something with it, because it's been fenced off and all the grass has been cut. Not sure what's in the stables over here, it's back to the way it, which we're going anyway, so we'll go and have a look. But yeah, these stables are quite old though. Old man's work boot. Not sure what's in it, it's just there's a couple of golf balls in there. Oh, I'd love to find a golf cart, that would be awesome. I don't think we're going to find that one. Oh, what have we got? Mindful guys. Where else is you guys? I mean, it's full of pigeons yet again. Okay. Pigeon up there. The old unit, a couple of pictures. Well, guys, let me take you to bits of the old golf course that's just been left. So, this is all of this. I don't think it was all used for the golf, though, because looking at some of that, it's not all been used for golf. To be fair, there's a lot of it that's not. Okay, there's a couple of old workshops still there. This is the obviously the outside. There you go. Always that hot golf course. So guys, maybe this is one of your old courses that you used to play at. Not sure if it was a driving range as well. I think that might have been. Maybe this was the main entrance going into the building because there's a lot of parking here. So it's obviously the converted to barn, didn't they? Here, yeah, look at that. That's where we've just been in. And this is part which I'm guessing that they hadn't used because look at that, that's got some age. There's nothing in it related to golf at all so i'm guessing that was never used really for golf let's see what we can see so as you can see over there guys some really tall old fencing so i'm guessing that this is the old part of the golf course that's here now maybe add a bit of a driving range on it as well that's uh, the one side of the building there Yeah, there's like a bit of a pathway there as well. So this must be, or must have at least leaded onto the golf course itself. Oh. Well, maybe it was the entrance into it. But somewhere under all of that is a golf course. I say that's why the fencing's there, isn't it? I'd imagine there's a driving range part, or was it maybe a driving range part to it? This must be the path that probably led to it, maybe. Let's have a bit of a walk down and have a look. So I like these little urban explorers where you end up going out. Outside and have a bit of a, a mooch and a look. And I'm guessing that's the new golf course up there. But guys, like I say, this is uh, just another quick explore on the way to somewhere else so i'll probably upload it i'm not sure yet i'll just see what the video footage is like and what's on it i'm not sure it's obviously worth really uploading much of it um definitely worth keeping i suppose just because it's a if it's a place you've been to yourself this is where you would have gone for your golf in manchester so guys um i shall leave you with it if you enjoyed please subscribe let me know what you think um I am on the way to more interesting ones, it's just I've seen this a couple of times as well. There's a few that I keep seeing, they're popping up everywhere. Guys, stay safe, see you soon, take care. All right, guys, you are still with Southern Urbex. I thought I'd just quickly show you this last bit. I know I have said goodbye, but I'm going to add this into the video. So this is part of the old golf course. When I say it's not all been a golf, 
Look at this. That's part of the barn that I couldn't get into. What? My days, look at this for the age of this. Look at the old fireplace. Look at the old chair there, just, just there, just full. Wow, is this you guys? That's got some age. Like I say, you're in Southern Urbex, you're looking at a really, really, really old build, and I'll catch you soon. Stay safe, guys.